this week we have got a, a, a very, very, very okay. special guest. Again, no CP time tonight, but peace to uh, you know, that that squad over there. Um, this weekend, God, this is crazy to even get into this. This weekend, Sunday, live on Peacock, NXT is having another great American bash. Mm -hmm. On that card is one brother that we have been tracking for a minute. That's and when crazy. I say a minute, it's been a, it's the last like two, three years. The last just about year, if you want to go calendar to calendar, has been amazing for this brother. He's not only a two-time NXT World Tag Team Champion, but he is currently, he, he, is, he does not have the title, but he holds the record for being That's the right. longest reigning NXT North American Champion. There's no cap in my rap when I say I am happy to introduce Wesley to the Black Wrestling Podcast, y'all. Story, and let me let me get hey. some applause hey. out here or something. Hold on, let me get let me hit the oh, applause for for Wesley. What an intro! Like, Thank you, uh, uh, Wes. We you know we we got to come correct when uh you know that's right. the the man is in the building now that's uh right. now uh, but before we get into a, a a real conversation, I wonder how how are you doing today? How how are things going? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I had a a series of interviews today, but. They're saving the best for last, I see. So, oh, like, we uh, we really uh, we really so having a good time right now. Like I said, it. that intro, man, I, that intro it, got me. I'm hyped. Like, well, the I, thing, like, I, facts are facts. Again, I mean, you know, it, it's I. I'm gonna say this because because you're hype. I want to start here. Every year we do the BRP 50. It is a a, a a top 50 ranking of the what we consider the best black professional wrestlers uh, currently in the game. Men, women, main roster, NXT, indies. If you're dope, you're on the list. And it's always tough, especially when we're trying to figure out who's going to be on the 50 to see where people go. And I want to throw this image up because this year, Wesley, I don't know if you know, oh, but you I know. You you were number you were number five on the list, yeah. and, and w when I go when when <laughs> when that jacket when I'm talking about when I'm talking in the intro because you last year you were number thirty two, but because of it's especially that North American title run, mm -hmm. it, there was no it was no denying, and there's a lot of people in the comments who were like, "Yo, uh, maybe West need to be a little higher." Well, I, <laughs> I, I want to know from you. Talk about your last. I mean, you just you just lost the title, and we'll talk about that yeah. match in a, in a minute. But just talk about what that reign means to you, and what this last year in, in in your career has meant to you. Ah, like I don't know. Like it, it, I've always struggled with like who I am and mm. like what I represent because for a long time I, I I wasn't accepted by like any group. I was like a standalone person, like no side was really picking me because I am a biracial or well, multiracial individual. Um, so like it makes it, uh, you know, the side thing that it always happens. Um, nobody was really like claiming me as I was doing my thing. So I, I never felt like I had anybody that I was representing until this time period when I have young children that are coming to me, letting me know that I'm an inspiration for them. Or I have parents coming to me saying, I thank you for being a good role model for my children. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that I'm not, I've never really felt before uh, until this time period that I'm in right now. So it's, uh, it's special. It's definitely special because I, I felt like this is a calling for me is to be like a walking testimony of just being yourself mm -hmm. and no matter what you like i mean like as you see well i moved the wrong way you got power <laughs> rangers right over here but at the exact same time i got i got a bunch of sneakers over here mm -hmm. so like I, i'm it's the mixture of a bunch of different things you got the video games over here but then at the exact same time i got my cat's litter box mm -hmm. so like you get a whole bunch of different sides that kind of make up who I am mm -hmm. and like when you are trying to discover who you are and, and get that connection with fans and things like that it's 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 very enlightening when you have to take that deep dive into yourself well I will say as a parent seeing you connecting with you like it's instant it's instantaneous that we accept you you know what I mean um <laughs> one two it's it's really um incredible to see you encompassing like everything, the video games, the 
the nerd culture, the sneaker culture, the <laughs> wrestling culture, which, you know, if you're if you have friends that are not wrestling fans, you know, they're like, you know, they they use the F word. Right. So <laughs> to see more, of, more of people that look like us embrace the culture, it's really um, empowering. And as a parent, I thank you for that. Oh, you're very welcome. It's an honor to be able to do it. And I, I, I'm having fun. Like, that's the major thing is that I'm having fun. See it. Doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, was, you was having fun when uh, Dominic Mysterio took that title? Oof. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. So, all right. So I'm asking. How are you going to, like, have such hot fire at the beginning of the show? Because that's what Cal does. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, the following question. <laughs> you said hot that? fire. No, nah, because I I listened back. I listened back to that crowd because they did Ooh. not they did not like Mister Dirty Dom in that match. But I want like again we we we, we talk little have little kids come up to you be like what's going like you know we you get you're gonna get that title back right like I'm a seat grab every single person has told me once I came in like across them like you you need to get your championship back mm -hmm. like it, it doesn't even look right in his hands mm -hmm. on his shoulder around his waist. Like I, he could be, ha it just doesn't look good in his presence. Mm -mm. Like it needs to be back. Mm -hmm. And I'm, 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 I'm just waiting for Sunday. I'm really waiting for Sunday. So TikTok. my question though, right, is it's dirty Dom, right? Dirty. Mm -hmm. How far are you willing to go to get, because this it is not regular rules no more. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. He yeah. took what you used to have. You got to do mm -hmm. something different to get it. What is your That's What right. is your plan? Uh, see, the thing is, not everybody understands what I'm willing to do to keep my championship. Mm -hmm. They blindsided me the last time. That's yes. how they captured it. I was knocked out. I could not do anything. Mm -hmm. I'm conscious right now. I'm going to be standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Mm -hmm. And if anybody else is in my way, I'm getting through them to my championship. I'm telling you, they are going to have to carry me from the ring. If I do not walk out with my championship, they are going to have to carry me out of that ring. Damn. I listen. Well, the th the thing is, it's there's a real interesting dynamic here because uh, Rey Mysterio is one of your influences. Yeah. You talk about the '97 Halloween Havoc match. Yes. yes. Ray and Eddie Guerrero. I mean, they, we just recently saw that reference at mania there's a lot of times where you know these great things come up but did you ever in your life feel like you were actually going to be standing toe to toe with one of your influences son especially this version of this what the people call dirty man nah nah <laughs> like i thought that i had reached like the highest level of being around this man or in being in the presence of him like by like crossing him on a sh on a show mm -hmm. or seeing him in passing like i've shared a locker room with him luckily mm -hmm. i've been able to like sit down and have chit chats with Rey mysterio mm -hmm. but now i've and then i've also been able to meet dominic at, a, at an early stage i met him before he was dirty dom i met him before he got into the industry uh, before he got into this business and really started to like cut his teeth i've known him since then so like to be able to see the growth within him I, I, I honestly got to give him his kudos. I've done it many times from before where he's grown so well mm -hmm. in a very, very difficult environment. I got to tip my hat to the man. Mm -hmm. Don't like what he's doing in order to be on top in his way, but I got to tip my hat to him. Damn. Yeah, man. I mean, you just, you got to get what's yours. And it sounds like you got the drive because 269 days is a long time and you've basically set the record as the NXT North American champion. What does that oh, mean man. to you? Like that's, you're a tight, you're a record holder. Uh, uh, it's mad dope. Like it's cool. <laughs> I can't even front. I'm not even going to lie. Like it's dope. Um, I, I honestly did not think that it would get to this level. I did. I, I, had no idea how long I was going to hold this championship. Mm -hmm. um, the moment that I had like Dijak standing across the ring for me, like 
this mountain of a man I'm gonna have to contest against. Like <laughs> walked out with against uh walked out mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. Like Von Wagner. Um mm-hmm. uh, I've had matches with Sangha before I became a North American champion. So like I have been fighting against guys that are against that, that are complete opposites of what I am. Mm -hmm. And it's like you said, my drive, my determination and Mm -hmm. the fact that I will not lose this unless you take me out. And it's very difficult to do that. Mm -hmm. They got lucky the last time because they had the numbers game. Now I'm prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Run it back. Nice. You also got it because Mustafa is, is still lurking as well. That's the other. That's the other piece of the puzzle that not only makes like th- like seeing this interplay with y'all recently mm-hmm. on TV is dope. Just not just because I know you and Dom have this this beef right now, but the fact that we're getting a triple threat with the three of y'all right now. How are you preparing? Because right now Dom is sitting pretty. Not only does he have a squad, but you know it's y- y'all got to y'all really got to take him out. I mean, I plan on smacking Mustafa in the mouth as well. Um, he's definitely <laughs> earned that. I've seen mm. everything that he's done the entire mm. time that he's made his uh, debut in NXT. Like mm-hmm. he's not been the. I would say the best friend that you can have. Mm-hmm. Like he's been very manipulative. He's mm-hmm. been very deceptive. And that's not the kind of thing that I like to have with somebody that's in my circle. Mm-hmm. So Thanks. in regards to like whether or not I trust him, I don't. And at the exact same time, I know exactly what he's willing to do in order to get the championship. So even though Dom has an entire squad and he has me fighting as well, he's willing to put it to the uh, Judgment Day as well. Damn. It's crazy. Crazy mm. time. So, Great American Bash, legendary, legendary, I guess you call premium live event, yeah. used to be pay-per-view back in the day. Facts. What do you, what do you recall of the history of, of the great American bash from past and, 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 and its importance in, in pro wrestling in general. Great American bash was, I I'll be honest. It wasn't one of my favorite pay-per-views growing up. It really wasn't. I was like, a, a, I was a bash at the beach mm. uh, again, Halloween havoc, right? Like, things like that uh, around big, the, uh, big WCW guy. Yeah, that's what I was growing up. So like um it, it it took some time for me to like really get back on the history on that. So I, I I'll be honest with you, I don't really have really f- core memories of the mm-hmm. Great American Bash. Damn. I mean, I've got my own history of the Great American Bash. Nah, like, I've of course, done some things. Of uh, I've done some things as well, but mm-hmm. um yeah, those are those are my personal like memories of the Great American Bash. I feel mm-hmm. like I, that's that's kind of I mean I just, nah, I <laughs> nah, but it, 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 there's only so much time in the world and you know you can't it's, it, when you do in the wrestling you can't watch all the wrestling. All the I, I mean, look, I I have a big head, but I cannot store <laughs> all that information in here. Like it's 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 just too much. Like oh geez, oh geez, uh, Wesley. I, try, I, I, I got dreads to try to make it look like my head's real Wesley, 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 Wesley. Smoke and mirrors, but that's that's I got a lot of thoughts up in this. <laughs> Wait, w- w- one quite what we were trying to figure something out, and I'm glad earlier you 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 pointed out uh those sneakers back there. We mm-hmm. uh, what what what's your I've seen you in the ring with, with, with Jordan's on before, but I don't know like what's your are you a sneaker? Would you consider yourself? yourself a sneaker head you've been a, a fan of sneakers for a minute we'll talk about it talk I, about it I, I i won't say that i'm a sneaker head per mm. se but there are certain kinds of shoes that i prefer to have on my feet mm. um as i look over here this is oddly enough some of the jordans that i have i got a couple of six rings at the top row right there mm-hmm. uh got some white and blue t-max uh mm-hmm. the t-max twos and then also the blue and uh blacks uh, got some Damian Lillards. I'm a big Air Max fan, though. Uh, ah. really like uh, what what 97s, number? 97s and 95s. Okay. Um, I gotta go with those. Okay. Um, but 
top shoe number one. I mean, I don't even know if you see that right here. Can you see the cue? Then yeah. you know exactly who it is. Alan Iverson. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes, I got over here the uh, questions and then the answers. And then I'm also a huge fan of J. Cole, so I have his dreamers. Nice. Is there anything in the collection that you want that you don't have? Mm. <laughs> um, see, the, the, the issue is, is I have wide feet. So there's a lot of shoes that look good. Right. Mm -hmm. But whether or not they feel good, right. that's I'm with the you. question. I'm there with you. Right. I'm there with you. Yeah. So like, I'm not really one to sacrifice functionality for fashion. Mm -hmm. Like... I'm not trying to have my toes mm -mm. looking like this inside mm -mm. of my shoes <laughs> and be wearing these for hours on an end and That's right. stuff like that. Like I need to, I need to breathe. My my toes need to breathe. Things like that. So I, I like wide base shoes. That's why the questions are good. The answers are good. Uh, the dreamers are extremely well. The wide base of the sole is really nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's something new. I, I, we, we saw that you were a fan of AI, and then I think something said something about Reebok. I said, "Oh, that's it right there." That's because mm -hmm. I don't. I, I are there because there's a lot. There's people that rock sneakers in their sneaker heads. I know in in the main roster specifically, but I know in NXT as well. Are there any like how many people you're running into rocking like questions? Ah, not too many. I didn't not think really so. I didn't think so. Um, because honestly. I don't understand why. Sorry, I'm scratching my head in, <laughs> in aggravation at the thought of this. Allen Iverson does not truly get the proper credit for what he did for the NBA. Agreed. Um, and, oh, shoot, pop culture, period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know, fashion, mm -hmm. um, music, mm -hmm. dance, mm -hmm. uh, the basketball itself. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's just so much that that man has done, and he doesn't necessarily get the credit for it. Word. Oh wait, that kind of sounds like somebody else too. Oh, but I mean, talk to um, talk to it's it, it's all good because I will continue to do what I like to do, which is have fun and mm -hmm. do and we that. like watching you have fun. <laughs> it is fun. And you 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 said video games earlier. What, what, what yeah, you yeah, to? yeah. I mean, I know Fame is a real big uh, Tekken fan. But, That's what uh, they say. I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I'm more of a Street Fighter fan. I've been playing six a lot. Oh, a word? lot. Mm -hmm. um, like I just got the Nashell, so it's 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 starting to really heat up right now. Who, who's uh, your main? Who's your main on on Street Fighter? I mean, uh, I'll probably say Ken. Okay, I'll probably say Ken. Old school. Yeah, old school. Yeah, old school. Because yeah. yeah, uh, it's uh, the the the. I don't have the best finger dexterity, if that's the proper word of saying it. Mm. Like, I would love to play guitar. I would love to play piano. But, yeah, these sausage link fingers. Not really no, you um, <laughs> I, I, I stick with my video games. That's the best thing that I got. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. So, you're coming up on 10 years in the business. Um, impressive 10 years. And thank you me. also spent some time in the Air Force. Uh, thank you so much for your service. What can you think about like a memorable place since you've been all over at this point? Oh, wow. that stands out that you will always remember a place or a specific thing that might have happened in that place during that time. That, yeah, during that time. Um, I'll honestly say my time in Japan. Um, and oddly enough, that came from wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, I've been able to travel to Japan a couple of times. I actually have a good amount of figures from my travels in Japan. Mm. I actually bought another suitcase while I was over there. <laughs> kind of went a little crazy. I like that. Um, like that. But yeah. I, nah, nah, the wife was all good with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was all good. We she bought one figures. too, probably. Right, yeah. right. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning on taking her over to Japan because I would love to go over there to start doing some training mm -hmm. uh, with my Japanese wrestling father, mm -hmm. Shima, again. Mm -hmm. So I would love to be able to get a great session with him and also fulfill a uh, childhood dream of my wife. Uh, nice. Going to Japan. So that would nice. be nice. Hopefully Aren't you a good time. husband? I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> again, trying to lead by example. I know that's uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> super facts. How how does um what it is you, you do for a living um affect at home? I know we, we see the, the tales of like the older guys, especially. Well, I couldn't do right in wrestling because I had to I had to go out of the road and talk to me. Like we saw all that. I, I, I feel like it's very different now. Um, yeah. but how does that dynamic work for you? 
Um, well, we have a very unique dynamic because my wife is also in entertainment. Mm. So she's been a dancer for a majority of her life. Oh, nice. And she's danced at Universal. She danced for the Orlando Magic. So she's mm. used to like the entertainment aspect and how hectic it mm -hmm. is. She's understanding of being on the road and not being able to respond to messages at times or phone calls. Uh, she, but she she 100 holds it down she is my rock she keeps me going like i i, I gotta give my wife kudos 100 for mm -hmm. for doing her thing nice. to a very high level very high level you need Love that it. good answer Love yeah it. Like, <laughs> now, now, i'll be honest with you like a lot of people like are desperate and searching for love like just you just be it. you that's right and chill that's like, right the, the 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 less that you try to seek it the more it's going to end up finding you just relax Find yourself because the best version of yourself is waiting for the best version of your soulmate. So you mm. should be trying to love one on one by Wesley. I, I wasn't I wasn't ready for Wesley bars <laughs> about you know love and I mean that's amazing though. Again, it's, it's, it's now, you can be talking about my wife. I I, I, Aww, I, 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 I get in a very uh, no, very a, inspirational mode. We, love we've it. All, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Um, you were talking about a. Uh, leading by example or you know be 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 the change you want to see in the world and I, I think you're in an interesting place right now literally in nxt because uh you've got booker t who you know you you've mentioned has been somebody that you know you, you coming up somebody you've watched as well especially if you're a wcw head but now he's in a totally di you're in a totally different role he's in a totally different role are are do you get like one on one time with Booker T? And if so, what what are, what are those conversations like? Uh, Booker's busy. Booker <laughs> bounces around a lot. Booked and busy. Booker, uh, Booker, Booker, Booker yeah. handles a lot of stuff because not only does he do the broadcast, uh, the, the the commentary, uh, he still handles his school mm -hmm. back out uh, back mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. So like he's always constantly handling something. Mm -hmm. So when Book has time to be relaxed and chill, I let Book. Relax, yeah. Um, yeah. But when he's out and about and he's able to have conversations and things like that, I always like to chop it up with him as much as I can and, and mm -hmm. like just remind him, thank you. Like a lot of people don't do a good job of giving people their roses while they're still here. So um, Amen. he's been, he was an inspiration to me growing up and still is. Like I still watch his stuff and find um, little, little nuances that he had that, uh, that kind of make something just pop a little bit more. And I try to add those kind of that kind of stuff to mind so like yeah i always give people your uh their roses when they're still here because they can't really appreciate them when they're gone that's right that's right is is yeah. there a i'm gonna go for him go for him you're you're at a really like unique place where there are multiple learning trees where you are right as far as you know ogs but you've got 10 yummy know I mean? years in plus are you at a point where some folks are, are coming to you and, and being like, yo, did you watch my match? Can you tell me, you know, how that was? And how is that for you kind of being in the middle? Ah, it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird um, because I'm, I'm still learning myself. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Even though t they say, what, 10 years, you become a master of your craft. Mm -hmm. But like there was a little bit of breaks in between there. So I didn't get like a full 10 years straight of like honing my craft. So I'm still learning a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. Like I'm learning how to, how to carry myself as a stronger individual because granted I'm now getting the confidence to start doing that. Mm -hmm. And that, but at the same time there, there's a way of doing that to the proper way. Right. And I'm learning those things. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm finding, more little tricks of like grappling things that I've never had in my training and stuff like that. So like it's it's it, it's it's odd to have like newer guys and girls mm -hmm. come up to me like, hey, help me, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming the same thing. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's nice to be able to pass along the knowledge that I do have, so that mm -hmm. it can like help them. I don't want to say cut corners, but like be able to get through certain mm -hmm. obstacles a lot faster without having to like struggle to yeah. find the outcome. So yeah. like that's great. It's like it's really really nice to see like light bulbs go off when we train, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or seeing somebody's excitement once they actually mm -hmm. do something that they've been really trying to do. It's mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. It really is. I love now, it. 
you you've been very busy. You know, I've been seeing you, you. You were on Busted Open Radio earlier today. You've been there's been a lot of conversation. You you're about to be in Texas very soon. Do you get any downtime? And if so, is there anything that you like? Is it like a certain food joint or like a meal you want to have while you're out there? Like, do, do you get to oh. do anything fun out there? Uh, well, uh, actually, I'm going to be popping out uh, to a anime and gaming convention nice. uh, out there. So, yeah, that's going to be really fun. I believe nice. uh, DreamCon. Yeah. You're going to DreamCon? Yes. Yes, we were just no, convention. I can't wait. We, <laughs> we were, we were having time. a conversation about DreamCon maybe like a month or so ago, yeah, specifically yeah. talking about so that's kind of and, and shouts to already seeing them. That's a that's mm -hmm. a it looks, yeah. what I've seen. It's a really interesting situation. You're just yeah. going as a as a as a as, as an a attendee. That's what's up. Me, like uh, cool. again, this is my very first con, so I, I I'm very very much excited to be able to go. Nice. Uh, but in regards to like having downtime while I'm out on the road and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's dependent. Like a lot of times when we end up going to say Boston, mm -hmm. uh, we got a chance to tour a lot of unique places. So. I always try to take advantage of that because that's where you're able to really create memories. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not really mm -hmm. one that takes their phone out and snaps pictures. Uh, I've been blessed with a photographic memory, so stuck right there. <laughs> um, it's, mm. so I, I, it's really nice to be able to get that little Rolodex of just great time periods that I've been able to share with my friends and also nice. my wife when she's able to travel with me too. Nice. Is she going to be in Texas? Ah, she has to work. Of course, she has to work, but she will be watching on Peacock, Peacock. like we this, all will this, be this, this Sunday. Uh, yeah, oh my god, was there anything? Do you guys have any other graphic. questions? Because we, we only got West for so much more time. Is there anything else you wanted to hit before we have to tell who we hope to be? The, the bring it home, hopefully, by Monday, you were two time. NXT North American champion. I uh I know that, that this is definitely gonna be yes. one of, if not the match that I am I am most hyped for. Uh Wesley, thank you for coming through. Yes. Um you, did you want to shout anything else out? Your socials ain't where can people find you? Anything, anything you ah. want to shout out before you get out of here. I mean, what y'all see right here That's is basically right. what I got on Twitter and Instagram. I, I had to keep it simple. I had to keep it simple because I uh, make it easy for myself as well. Uh, I think it's, no, it's X now, you. right? It's <laughs> It's X now. <laughs> that's, oh, that's right. right. Yeah, X now, and it used to be something yeah. else. And the other thing used to be X, and now they, yeah, you know it's, what? It's, never mind. It's, it's, it's a lot going on these days. There's a lot going on these days. Wes, thank you for coming thank through. You so much. Uh, I don't know what you're about to do, but you got to get out of here. But I yes, appreciate I you. Hopefully, don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Yes. Oh, no. And good luck. Thank you. Salute, thank salute, you thank you. No, really, very much. Thank you very much for all the love that y'all have given me. It's oh, yeah. It's... It's truly like enriched my, my my soul to know that I am accepted and loved for who I am. Thank you. Salute, salute. Thank you, Wes. All right. All right. Have a good night. Damn. That was fun. That was uh that he was is a, fun. That was that was a lot of fun. That was a lot. I will say uh we I've got to take my I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm not supposed to be up here at all. He's that like was, one of those kids that your mom like if you're a mom, you're like, why can't you be like him? That's a good boy. Like, that's what, a good boy right there. That boy good. Have, have him have have Wes come over more often, huh? I know. Have Wes go, yo <laughs> matter <laughs> shit. I'm so, dirty. Hey, how long was you holding on to that cow? You just cussed for the first time in a half hour. I, 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 I was, I, I, I was, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I, maybe like 20 <laughs> minutes in, I, there was something faster. Nah, yeah, that's kind of, I mean, you know, things happen. It's, it's really, it's because of y'all, you know, it, 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 there's a reason why we keep doing this every Thursday. At a certain point, we're able to try and do things like that. Um, shouts out to Wes. That was, that, Salute to y'all for being well behaved as well. I didn't have to say nothing. <laughs> Chat knew what time it was. Um, salutes to math. Math is uh math is on uh math is on uh maneuvers yeah. right now. But even he's cut if you if y'all wasn't looking at the social medias, you know, yeah, like, you know, look it's at just that. Like, yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Eve, but you Eve, know you stay late. If if um the, the video will be clipped at some point, you can watch the whole thing on on on, on demand. Mm -hmm. You can listen to it tomorrow. You can mm -hmm. see Wes on Sunday. Mm -hmm. She's 